Most asked question in 38 years, can you give me the best core exercises? So here's a few, and here's how we do it. The core does five things. Stabilization is one all day long. So this is called a farmer's carry. I've got a heavy kettlebell at my side. Could be a dumbbell, could be a child, could be a cat. Okay, sorry, cat lover. But carry that back and forth, trade arms. Next up, I'm going to do a lateral movement or anti-lateral movement. In this case, I'm doing a side lift over a ball. Now at a gym, you could use a glute ham machine to do this. My hip pushes into the ball, so I've got the ability to lift the rest of my body away from the ball by pushing my hip into it. Setup is the hardest part here. You're going to love this one. Next exercise, and we're going to have several back extension exercises because postural muscles need a little work in our contemporary society. This is called a bird dog. Very easy from all fours, just alternating arm and leg. If you can't, however, do alternating, it feels a little wobbly, you can try just leg, just arm, and go around the clock. We're going to next do forward flexion, but you never, ever, ever see me do crunches or sit-ups, and you never, ever, ever will. But this is one way I do do them. So for those of you who have wrist, shoulder issues, either or or both, I feel for you, this is not one you can put on your list. But it is a great way to do forward flexion if you must. You need a cat-cow break, so that's all you're going to do. This is a very gentle core exercise. So as you go here, you're contracting pretty hard. So don't think there's no work there, but I'm going to consider this a break because I'm going to take you right into back extension for the last exercise, and here's what that looks like. So as you finish this, you've gotten a good way of rounding and extending the back. Get in a little break. We're going to finish with a tough one, but I want you to pay attention to something. I'm only lifting my upper body. Lower body stays on the floor. Those toes curl under to stabilize. I'm not lifting from both ends. That's important. My hips are pressing down to protect my lower back. Follow me, flipping50.com, for more or subscribe right here and ask a question below.